Hey, it's Roxy. I'm here with another video. Um, I'm here with another short hair transformation. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I created this look here. It's a partial quick weave um, using uh, 29 pieces, 3, 4, and 5 inches. Well, I only use 4 and 5 inches. But anyway, as you can see, I have some color here. Um, it's a little bit outside of my comfort zone, but I thought I needed to create you know something different for my ladies that like color too and I, I'm kind of feeling it I'll probably wear this for a couple days until I kind of feel uncomfortable but I gotta make this intro really short because you know baby girl is sleeping and my son is here he's he's relaxed so without further ado let's get into this video The hair that I'm using today is Empire Sensational in 28 pieces, lengths 3, 4, and 5 inch. The color is T1B slash 30, so it's like an ombre. The ends are 30, color 30, and the roots are 1B. So at this moment, I am actually reconsidering even doing this color because it's kind of different for me and it's just out of my comfort zone right now. But you know what, I just thought, you know, I'm going to go ahead and just give it a shot. If it doesn't work out, I can always take it out. Okay, so as usual, I am starting by gluing the wefts, by gluing the tracks. So to prep my hair, guys, I did use some GPS at the very top of my hair. And I molded the sides using... Nairobi's foam foaming lotion so I just did two little waves at, at the side just to kind of give it some more style so the top part is completely coated with grow protect solution which is going to protect my hair from the glue guys so I am just um, just gluing the tracks in a circle so I'm just starting at the side I'm not going all the way to the bottom. I I'm just going to where going as far as I put the GPS. Okay. So I'm just bringing each track or each weft in a complete circle. So by accident, I started using the four inch, but I really should have used the five inches, the five inch um, for the very front, for the very top, because it's longer and it, it would have given me a longer bang. So I'm using four inches right now, but when I get to the top, I end up using the five inches, but it still worked out just fine. So it really didn't matter because I ended up cutting it anyways. So I'm just going to continue gluing the wefts and laying down the tracks in a circular motion until the circle gets smaller and smaller to where I'm going to eventually eventually um, put the closure that's included in the, in the pack of hair.
okay so here is the closure that comes in the pack um, it's very easy to apply all you need to do is add some glue onto the back of the closure and place it in the circle that you've left to fill um, to fill in Okay, so now with a razor comb, um, I'm just starting by cutting down the sides. So the razor comb is the best thing to use, especially if you're a beginner because you have more control and it's just easier overall. So you can get a razor comb at any like black hair store or, or beauty supply store, or you can probably get one on amazon.com if you don't have like a hair store close by you to be quite honest i feel like i kind of messed up the left side the side here but when you mess up you just got to keep going To be honest at first I was hesitant about the color but eventually after I started cutting it it started growing on me so I'm actually starting to really like it The back was the most difficult because I couldn't really see where I was cutting. I was more feeling for what I was cutting and then using the hand mirror to go back to see if there's any any places that need to be fixed. So the back is definitely not perfect, but I tried to get it as perfect as I could.
This hair is very flexible and easy to style because it comes pre-bumped. So I did not have to use a flat iron or a curling iron to get to style my hair. All I needed to do was just run my fingers through it. So that's a good thing about this hair. And to finish it off, I just used some ORS Olive Oil Sheen and the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Edge Control. I also used some Maury's Beeswax and this is just to kind of uh, give, just give the top some hold, you know, just to finish it off. Just a little bit, nothing too heavy. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, subscribe if you're new and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Bye.